Okay, so if you're new to network engineering, then you may not know what this is, but it's very cool. So you should learn right now, this little guy. What this guy allows you to do is basically spy on your own network link. What you do is you plug one device into one of the black ports. Then you plug your other device into the other black port. Now you have a continuous network link. Now these yellow ports down here, each of them corresponds with one of the black ports. So you're gonna be able to see data from this black port on one of these yellow ports and this black port on the other one of these yellow ports. You just need to connect a device to each of the yellow ports and you'll be able to see the traffic flowing on either direction of the black port link. Now, as a side note, I have worked with these a lot in the lab now and I have to admit that it is not always possible to know which yellow port corresponds to which black port until you've got a link up and data flowing and you can actually plug into each of these yellow ports and find out which of these devices it corresponds to. You can always use a network tab to passively look at the traffic flowing through a link without disrupting that link or causing any issues yourself. I use this kind of setup a lot in the lab to troubleshoot in circumstances where maybe I wanna send a command from a Linux machine to a router or a switch or some kind of proprietary device. And maybe that device isn't answering the Linux machine. Maybe it's not doing what I want in response to that command, etc. I wanna make sure then that first of all, the Linux machine is actually sending the command out and I wanna make sure that the command is getting to the wire. I also wanna make sure on the other end that the device is getting that command and whether or not it's actually sending an answer, perhaps the Linux machine is just not getting it or it's dropping it. So by switching my laptop back and forth between the two yellow tap ports, and using Wireshark to take a look at the packets, I can pretty easily tell most of the time what's going on on the wire. Programs like TCP dump or Wireshark directly on the devices that you're trying to troubleshoot aren't necessarily gonna tell you for sure whether or not the responses, the commands ever actually got to the wire. Having a tap in between tells you that yes, at the very least, if I see the command on this end of the wire coming into the tap, and I see it on Wireshark on my laptop, yeah, it definitely got to the wire. If the device over here actually answers, I should be able to see that here, that it got to the wire and that it's headed down to the Linux machine. If you have a lot of taps in a setup that you're using, you can always, instead of swapping back and forth between your laptop or whatever to look at the tap traffic, just connect these two yellow ports on every single tap up to a switch and use the actual a technology of tap aggregation on a switch to aggregate all the data and send it to a capture PC of some kind. Some Arista switches, for example, have great tap aggregation abilities that if you're interested, you should look into. So passive taps can be super useful and help you with a lot of issues. Are they the answer to everything? No, of course they're not. I think these passive guys are only rated for 100 base TX and maybe 10 base T. They don't do up to gigabit speeds. For gigabit speeds, you're gonna have to look into more expensive, active tabs that actually need to be powered. But it's the same concept. Tapping your network links can be very useful in certain circumstances, and it's a great skill to know.